Today we pay our respects after the passing of one of the UK's original ultra runners, fell running legend Joss Naylor. Joss Naylor was born in 1936 in Wasdale in the Lake District. He worked as a shepherd and sheep farmer, which no doubt contributed to his intimate knowledge and love of the fells and the Lake District where he lived, and also to his strength and agility as a fell runner. Back in the 1950s, ultra running didn't exist, certainly in the UK as we know it today. There was the London to Brighton 50 mile race organised by the Roadrunners Club, but there were certainly no 100 mile races as we have today. There was though the Bob Graham Round. Established in 1932, it became a benchmark challenge for fell runners. The sport of fell running was increasing in popularity when Joss was a young man working on the hills. Joss soon found a love for fell running and despite suffering chronic back pain from a young age, developed a reputation for resilience and determination in the fell running community. Now many of you will be aware that it took some 36 years for Billy Bland's record on the Bob Graham round to be broken. And it took the world's greatest ultra runner, Killian Jornet, to break it. But many people will be unaware that the person who held the record for 11 years before Billy Bland was Joss Naylor. Joss broke the record in 1971 with a time of 20 hours and 26 minutes. And it wasn't until 1982 that Billy ran 13 hours and 53. In 1975, Joss broke the Lakeland 24-hour record, summiting 72 peaks in 23 hours and 20 minutes, a record which stood for 13 years. The Welsh 3000s is another prestigious and coveted accomplishment amongst the mountaineering and fell running communities. In 1983, Joss managed to break the record, summiting all 15 peaks in four hours and 46 minutes. Of course, the Montaigne Spine Race didn't exist when Joss was a young man, but in 1974, he ran the 268 mile Pennine Way in a record time of 76 hours and 36 minutes. And it wasn't until 1989 when Mike Hartley went and ran 65 hours and 20 minutes to break that record. As he got older, Joss completed some notable charity fundraising runs to celebrate his birthdays. So 50 Lakeland Peaks for his 50th birthday. On his 60th birthday, he ran 60 Lakeland Peaks. And to celebrate his 70th birthday, he ran 70 Lakeland Fells. He was awarded an MBE in 2006 and continued to share his experience and his deep love of fell running as a sought after public speaker. It's too easy to forget where we've come from and how lucky we are to have had trailblazers like Joss to pave the way for the sport of trail and ultra running to grow into the popular and competitive space it occupies today. In the UK, fell running is the grandfather of trail and ultra running and runners like Joss Naylor were the heart and soul of the sport, achieving incredible things before most of us had even watched our first London marathon on TV. So rest in peace, Joss Naylor, sorely missed but forever remembered and I will see you guys on the start line next time.